Hello everyone, I'm Motionless4, and today we got two awesome weapon mods, so let's get started. First up is Grilled Turkey's Capital Wasteland Gauze Rifle. If you've played or have Project Mojave installed, this would be kind of redundant for you, since these guns are in the mod, but if you don't have it installed, or you want them to be in the leveled list, then go ahead and download it. But yeah, the Gauze Rifle has custom model and texture, vendor, and leveled list integration like I just talked about, and two new legendaries. One being the YCS-186 and Valar which has a 100% chance to knock down your enemies, but for less damage. And the normal Gauze Rifle does about 278 damage, but it could be more or less depending on the perks you use and all that. And the Gauze Rifle only has two barrels and three scopes, so there's a lot to be desired in terms of customization, but I love this version of the Gauze Rifle, so it's whatever. And that's why I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5, because I do wish I had more options like sights, muzzles, and maybe, even maybe a different mag option like fusion or something. But yeah, if you like the Fallout 3 or Fallout New Vegas Gauze Rifle, then look no further. Moving on to Glorious Warriors PBS 43. The PBS 43 has custom model and texture, along with custom reloading animations that I really like. And it comes with 14 receivers, 5 stocks, 3 mags, 7 barrels, 10 muzzles, 16 sights, 2 glow sights, and, and 6 damage options. One can be found in Walden Drugs inside of Concord, so you can acquire the gun almost immediately from the vault, and it does anywhere between 50 to 111 damage, and it does have the option to be full auto or semi auto. The customization for the weapon is pretty much what you would expect from weapon mods, so you can kit it however you'd like. With the option to increase its damage, it can be an in game weapon if you desire. It also has inscripted into the level list, so thankfully it doesn't cause any enemies to um, not have weapons, kind of like some of the other we weapon mods that the mod author makes, not a knock at Glorious Warriors mods or anything, but it does happen time from time, so I'm going to give it a 4 to 5, only input would be where is the drum mag option for this gun, I mean yes I know it isn't the PBSH, but I still think that would be a good weapon mod to include with this weapon, but yeah. That's going to be it for today's video, so if you liked the video, please give it a like, and if you want to see more Fallout mod content, please check out my channel. I do videos like this every single week, and if you want to see me review any mod, or if you know any mod that um, you want to see me review, please list it in the comments below, or message me personally on YouTube or whatever, but yeah, hopefully I'll see you in the next one.